Hello, I'm Marcus Boston. Quick video today. Here is the question. Placental abruption and how can that lead to your child suffering a brain injury during labor and delivery? All right, before I answer that, I want to back up and I want to help you understand what is placental abruption. So placental abruption is when the placenta can detach itself from the uterus and you can have a total abruption, a total detachment, or you can have a partial detachment. Now, the reason why this is important is because when that detachment, when it occurs, this can affect your baby's blood and oxygen levels. That's really important to understand. And during a vaginal delivery, your doctors and the nurses, they have tools that they can use to help be able to determine how well your baby is tolerating vaginal delivery. One of those tools is the electronic fetal heart monitor. And so when you have problems with blood and oxygen, when the baby is struggling on that end, this will be reflected on that electronic fetal heart monitor. So that is why the electronic fetal heart monitor is important and that is why it is it's crucial for doctors and nurses to really analyze and to read the strips the right way. All right, so now getting back to placental abruption and a brain injury, like I said, if you have that rupture, you have that tear, and it's going on and the baby is no longer tolerating that vaginal delivery, you can have uh, the baby suffer a brain injury. And when you have severe abruption, what can happen is the doctors have to be ready to move to an emergency C-section to help the baby out. You can have problems, like I said earlier, when it's not detected, it's not diagnosed the right way. And if it's not diagnosed properly, then you can have issues with treatment. And so that is the point of today's video because this question came in to us. And the question was, well, how can a baby suffer a brain injury when there is placental abruption during labor and delivery? And I'm just trying to help you understand this concept from a medical legal standpoint and why it is crucial, crucial for doctors and nurses to, to analyze the electronic fetal heart monitor, to look at the strips, to monitor the baby's blood and oxygen, how that heart rate is doing. All of these things are really important when we're talking about this type of situation. If you would like to speak with me further about what's going on, more than likely, if you're watching this video, your baby has probably suffered a brain injury or you may have been dealing with placental abruption during labor and delivery. And the question is, well, did the doctors and nurses, did they catch it in time? Did they do the, the, the right treatments? You have questions about all of this. If you would like to speak with me about investigating this for you, there's a telephone number on the screen. Go ahead and pick up the phone and give me a call. I talk with families all the time about birth trauma, injuries that babies suffer as a result of birth trauma or birth injuries. Cerebral palsy, HIE, uh, MAS, brachial plexus injuries, a whole host of other things. That is what we do. Now, before I get out of here, I want to make sure that you understand that if you give me a call and you are not in the state of Maryland, I practice law here in Maryland. If you're not in Maryland, you got to understand that if this is something that we think we can assist you with, we have to use local counsel or attorneys in your state to help with the case, to push everything through. So I just want to make sure that you understand that local counsel piece. All right, that's going to be it for today's quick educational video. Again, I'm Marcus Boston and I'm one of the childbirth injury and medical malpractice attorneys practicing law here in the state of Maryland at Boston Law Group, LLC. We will see you next time. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day.